If you somehow haven't been paying attention to the world of boxing in the last six weeks, then well, you've missed out on a lot. There have been some earth-shattering announcements from various people in the boxing world, and it's only growing from here. And now, one matchup that is trying to get set up in various ways is Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor. Yeah, the man who knocked out Nate Robinson versus the MMA legend who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Floyd Mayweather. But will this fight happen? And what do both sides really think on the matter? Let's break it down. But first, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. Number five, the call out. So let's rewind this to where the call out for the fight itself happened. That would be at the boxing event that occurred in November where Mike Tyson returned to the boxing ring to face Roy Jones Jr. On the undercard for that event was YouTube legend Jake Paul in his second boxing match ever against former NBA star Nate Robinson. Jake Paul had a brutal KO on Nate in the second round giving him his second victory ever and after the match he made it clear that he wasn't a fluke or a passing fancy. I have been training my off for the past year. I am taking this seriously, Paul said. There's a long list of opponents I want, like Conor McGregor and fellow MMA fighter Dylan Dennis. I want to knock both of them out. I want to be in this sport for a long time. I'm in love with this, so why not? Why not indeed? Weirder things have happened in recent times. Number 4. It makes sense. Now you might go and think, Jake Paul has no chance against Conor McGregor, and you'd be right in certain regards. Even without the MMA rules that McGregor is used to, he's proven he can go in the boxing ring, more on that later. And according to Jake, he knows that McGregor isn't likely to be someone he can get right now. But in the future, anything is possible. It's very realistic. We are already talking to his team and he understands that it makes sense. I want to fight a couple of more people I think first, but we're figuring that out because I want to prove to the world that I'm going to knock out all these fighters. So you know, Conor McGregor can maybe be like the final boss. If we were playing a video game, he could be the final boss, he said. That would make sense because two fights and two KOs doesn't make you a legend or someone who can take on a pure fighter, but it is someone who's proven their skill in a small sample size, and that can breed confidence, and confidence is what you need to take on bigger and better fighters. So if he gets a few more wins under his belt, yeah, it could happen, and he's willing to pay to make it happen. Number three, the paycheck. So another major stumbling block of sorts when it comes to a potential Jake Paul Conor McGregor fight is one of money. After all, McGregor is a prize fighter and win or lose, he goes and gets big paychecks for whatever he does. So given that Jake Paul is currently a small time fighter, not an insult, just fact, given who he's faced so far, does he have the money to get McGregor to the table? Honestly, yeah. In fact, in a rant on YouTube, he went and challenged McGregor again and noted that he sent an offer sheet for $50 million. Yeah, for real. Now at present, McGregor hasn't accepted that offer, but it proves that Jake is serious. Plus, as his brother will note, the Paul brothers do bring attention to certain things in regards to getting opponents. Number two, Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. While Jake Paul was very much getting a victory lap in social media wise after his KO of Nate Robinson, his brother Logan was working up something just as big. Because not even a month after Jake's victory, Logan revealed that he has signed on to do an exhibition match with Floyd Money Mayweather. Yes, this is happening. In fact, it's happening in February 2021, and pay per view pre orders are already up and running. Floyd McGregor had their own Clash of the Titans a few years back in a match that was much better than it should have been. How Logan got Floyd to accept the deal is unclear, but it's happening. And if Logan can get Floyd to do it, maybe McGregor could be next. After all, he doesn't seem opposed to it. Number 1. McGregor on the fight While we haven't heard from Conor McGregor himself on everything, there have been murmurs from both Jake Paul as well as some of McGregor's teammates. Jake Paul says that McGregor knows the fight makes sense, while the teammates of Conor seem to indicate that they're not too impressed with Jake Paul and his challenges. The real deciding factor here though may be Dana White, the UFC president, who has stated that while McGregor is in UFC and he's set to fight at UFC 257, he won't be fighting Jake Paul. So that might be the temporary nail in the coffin. But McGregor has been known to retire every once in a while and that could give him the leeway to go and do this fight. Only time will tell. And there you have it everyone, a look at the various elements for the fight that might happen between Conor McGregor and Jake Paul. Do you think this fight will happen? Do you want this fight to happen? Do you think that the Paul brothers are overreaching in regards to their boxing ambitions? What do you think will happen to them if their super fights do indeed go through? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.